Man, they should rename these the 2030 Goals for Global Communism. And these Sustainable Development Goals were actually set in 2015 by no other than the United Nations General Assembly and are intended to be achieved by the year 2030. It appears that the World Economic Forum is throwing the Great Reset over this as a blanket because of you know what's going on in the world. This agenda is a plan of action for people, planet, and prosperity. It also seeks to strengthen universal peace and larger freedom. We recognize that eradicating poverty in all its forms and dimensions, including extreme poverty, is the greatest global challenge and an indispensable requirement for sustainable development. All countries and stakeholders acting in collaborative partnership will implement this plan. We are resolved to free the human race from the tyranny of poverty and to heal and secure our planet. We are determined to take the bold and transformative steps which are urgently needed to shift the world onto a sustainable and resilient path. As we embark on this collective journey, we pledge that no one will be left behind. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals and 169 targets which we are announcing today demonstrate the scale and ambition of this new universal agenda. They seek to build on the Millennium Development Goals and complete what these did not achieve. They seek to realize the human rights of all and to achieve gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls. They are integrated and indivisible and balance the three dimensions of sustainable development, the economic, social, and environmental. Free the human race from the tyranny of poverty, heal and secure our planet, gender equality. These are all fake manufactured problems. You have to bring up the Hegelian dialectic whenever government is involved. The agenda, centralization of power, oligarchy, a small group of people having complete control over the masses. Thesis, terror event, fake or real. Just this year, the main fake events being the you know what, as well as the protests for lives mattering. Antithesis, the increasing police state. In this case, for the safety of everyone else, mandates that are abided by through fear and psychological warfare. Synthesis, removal of freedoms, transfer of power, which hasn't happened yet on paper by the rules and laws, but it's pretty much guaranteed from how people are behaving. Once that is established, once we understand what is actually going on, it becomes clear this is all nonsense. The agenda for sustainable development is the solution being brought forward for the problems that the elite in charge have manufactured themselves an excuse to give themselves more power and enslave the masses even further, tightening the shackles. Now we can discuss the points of this agenda to show how psycho it is, but the overarching point is that the world's people have to stand up to the ruling class and realize they are equals. Just those three things we mentioned, the tyranny of poverty, you know, poverty is allowed by the elite. They print money for corporations. They could end it tomorrow if they wanted to. Our planet being compromised is climate change fakery. Even if humans had an impact, it would be 99% from corporations, giant factories, manufacturing processes polluted the environment. You know, not a family eating grass fed steak from down the road. This is the scariest part complete lies being used to control us. And once you tell a lie enough times, it becomes the truth. If climate was a real problem, they wouldn't usher people into smart cities. We would all be living like the Amish, but they need technology to control us. Gender equality, empowering women and girls. You mean the illusion you've created that women should strive to be just like men, go against their biology? The divide and conquer tactics used to pit humans against each other and make everyone unhappy as opposed to people realizing what's going on and going against who they should actually, the ruling class? Now this entire agenda is summarized into 17 goals. Goal 1. End poverty in all its forms everywhere. Does this mean dragging everyone down to the level of socialist slavery? 
Goal two, end hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Is everyone going to be vegan consuming lab-grown meat? Goal three, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. Perhaps no meat being allowed and being radiated on your walk in the park. Maybe you need a medical chip that says when your temperature goes to 98.7 so they can inspect your butt. Goal four, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Public school brainwashing, dictated life roles and assignments. Goal five, achieve gender equality, and empower all women and girls. What is it, completely crush men as they are the ones that will stand up against government nonsense? Goal six, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. <laughs> Make sure to put plenty of fluoride and chlorine in the water to short circuit everyone's brains. Goal seven, ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Force people into living and traveling under restrictions for the good of the planet. Goal eight, promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. Create a structured rat race where complacency and obedience is success. Goal nine, build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. Make sure everyone that doesn't obey is shunned and hated and excluded from society. Goal 10, reduce inequality within and among countries. Drag everyone down to the same level instead of empowering everyone. Goal 11, make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. Smart cities where they will arrest you after reading your mind for wrong think. Goal 12, ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns, controlling every aspect of people's lives, ranging from restriction of meat to limited water usage for hygiene. Goal 13, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Make up a fake agenda about climate and use the lies to control people's lives even further. Goal 14, Conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. I mean, are they going to stop dumping stuff in the ocean and poisoning the fish? Unlikely. Goal 15. Protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably managed forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation, and halt biodiversity loss. Take people's land and property away because of nature. Goal 16. Promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive inclusive institutions at all levels. Make sure everyone thinks the same way. Hive mind. Goal 17, strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. Empower government officials, police, and military to terrorize the public into compliance. It's called a police state for a reason. The police will enact the will of the government. Now, the average person reading this document at face value, you know, the explanations for each of these goals, what they're saying sounds pretty good. But if you realize what these psychos in control have been doing for hundreds, if not thousands of years, you wouldn't want any aspect of your life in their hands, let alone the lives of every individual on the planet. If they need to manufacture this nonsense to lock everyone inside in order to enact their plan, you know it can't be good. If someone has a business deal to present it to you, they're not gonna kidnap you into a van and, and tie you up and interrogate you for the business deal. They're gonna invite you out to dinner and have a nice discussion about it. Very clear what's going on here. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully uh, this gives you some insight to various aspects of what they're trying to do and how they're going to get there. We've seen different components of this kind of 
shed some light over the past few months especially uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below check that notification bell so you see when my video goes up every day and above all if you can please share the video on social media if you do want to support me further and check out all of my businesses you can go to frank-defano.com thanks again for joining me guys and i'll see you for tomorrow's video Thank <music> you.